Jesus says, if your hand offends you, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life, to enter the kingdom of God with one eye, one hand, or one foot, than to be cast into hell. Fire! Hell! Fire! For all of eternity! This is not a joke! This is not a joke! Perversion! Per There's no sex in hell! No sex in hell! No drugs in hell! No beer in hell! All there is to do in hell is weep and wail and gnashing of the teeth! Jesus says, the worm never dies and the fire is never, ever, ever quenched. You must repent. You must turn from your sin before it is too late. Before you die in your sin, stand before God and he casts your soul in the hell. Hellfire, folks. There's a bunch of perverts out on this beach. There's a bunch of loose women on this beach. That's why Jesus Christ sends his disciples, sends his servants to go ye therefore into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. There's lots of creatures out here at Fort Myers Beach. Lots of creatures. Creatures on their way to a devil's hell. Turn from your sin, people, before it is too late. The Bible says that the fornicators, the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Not a fornicators. Not a fornicators. Not a idolaters. Do you want me to continue preaching? Just let him disperse for a minute. All right. Firing him up. Minutes, but you want to preach a little? You want me to continue? You want me to continue? Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Good. You did good. You got the I, Only a few minutes. Okay. Here, here. Spring break. Break in repentance. Spring break. Break in repentance. Oh, Jesus said in Luke 13, 3, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Uh, okay, let me tell you who I am to judge. Good. Let's have an intelligent. Wow, is it? Uh, you really want to stop the preaching that bad? Why don't you let someone hear the preaching? You don't want to hear because your conscience is condemning you. Why don't you ask an intelligent conversation about judging? Judging, okay. Let's talk about, let's open your Bible to Matthew chapter 7, right? Jesus said, judge not lest ye be judged. Oh, don't stop there. Let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. Oh, it says with the same measure you use, it'll be measured back to you. With the same judgment you use, it'll be judged back to you. Take the plank out of your own eye and you'll see clearly how to... I'm trying to explain to you. Why don't you listen? I care about you. I care about you. I'm here to tell you how to escape the judgment. Don't you want to know what your, what your ticket out of hell is? Oh, it's the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm here to proclaim to you. Jesus said, when you use a good measure, it says it'll be measured back to you. It says, give, and it will be given to you. Good measure pressed down, running in your lap. It'll be shaken it over. Our, we have received the grace of God, and it runs over. The Bible says, Jesus said, whatever I tell you in the ear, proclaim it from the housetops. We're proclaiming to you that the time is short. If scarcely a righteous man will be saved, where will the ungodly and sinner appear? Oh, fools make a mock of sin. Okay, get it out of your system. All right, now let's, now let's talk about your soul. What's wrong with you, man? Why, why, are, you, why are you so possessed? Come out of him in the name of Jesus. Come out of him in the name of Jesus. Oh, God hates all workers of iniquity, Psalms 5, 5 says. He hates all workers of iniquity. Oh, the, what's that? Do I say what? No, the Bible says in 
Psalm chapter 5, verse 5, that God hates all workers of iniquity. God hates those who live in sin. Because sin produces death, okay? The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. We're here because we receive eternal life. What? 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 God didn't like rap about it. Devils, they wouldn't put Paul on this earth. God, God, didn't like God loves Jesus Christ. God loves the Son. And the Bible says, kiss the Son. Tell these people. Tell kiss the Son. Tell them Jesus loves fucking faggots. I want to get. I want to get this. Gotta be careful. I only got that one word. All right, if you calm down now, let's talk. I'm serious. We're not we're out here for, for because we care about your soul. We want to tell you what is required of you. Don't you want to know what's required of you? You need to be born again, Jesus said. Whoever does not born again will not inherit the kingdom of God. If any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things pass away and all things become new. Oh, is it is it not terrible that you have a curse over your life? You, you speak cursings? Jesus wants to give you a blessing. Jesus said, what comes out of a man is what defiles a man because what comes out of the heart is evil speaking, murders, fornications, blasphemy, and evil eye. Oh, but Jesus' word goes on forever. He told me not to. Hey, these two right here are very happy. What you talking about? Go ahead, show them. Yeah, we are very happy. Jesus said, what would it profit you to gain the whole world and then lose your soul? What are you going to give in exchange for your soul on the great and terrible day of the Lord? Jesus said, whoever seeks to save his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel will keep it for eternity. Oh, John chapter, chapter 8 verse 34 says, whoever sins is a slave of sin. And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides in the house forever. You must be an, an engrafted son because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Acts chapter 17 that God through one blood made every nation of man that we might seek for him, that we might grow for him, but he is near to you. Oh, because in him we live and move and have our being. God gives you your life. What are you doing with the life that God gave you? It's precious. It's oh. And the Bible says God's going to bring the councils of the nations to nothing. He's going to make the plans of the people of no effect. Oh, many are the plans of a man's heart, but the Lord's counsel will stand. Proverbs 19, 21. Many are the plans in your heart, but God's going to destroy the wicked. God's going to bring the parties to an end through his judgment. Oh, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. He will someday, the Bible says. You don't think so? You don't think that when people live in sin that God is angry with the wicked? It destroys people's lives. You have cursings in your life. You need a blessing. I used to live just like you people. I used, to, I used to live like the devil. I did. I used to live like the devil. And God saved me. God saved me. I came out from among them and, I, and I'm separate now and I touch not what is unclean. And the Bible says God will receive me. And he did. Oh, but he's... He, the Bible says a spiritual man judges all things, but he himself is rightly judged of no man. You, you need, you need. The, this is, this is a, this is a very, very small judgment for you. I come and rebuke you. The Bible says better are the wounds of a friend than the kisses of an enemy. Oh, the Bible says, the Bible says that open rebuke is better than hidden love. Oh, the ear that hears the rebukes of life shall abide among the wise. Why are you not wise? Why are you not full of wisdom and understanding and truth? Oh, it's going to go on forever and ever. If you live in sin, if you live in wickedness, oh, the Bible only promises you calamity. The Bible says, though a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again. There you go. There you go. That was that was that was your glory. The glory's in their shame. They mind earthly things. The Bible says, "Their God is their belly. Their end is destruction." Oh, but our citizenship is in heaven. 
in which we eagerly wait for the revealing of the Son of God, who will transform our lowly bodies to be conformed to his heavenly body. Or if you, then just keep it. Go down the beach. We're not, we're not holding you hostage. You can go wherever you want. You can go wherever you want. These people want to hear. These people want to hear the truth. And you don't want to hear the truth that's bothering your conscience. Why is your conscience so bothered? Probably because you're in sin, right? Yes. Those who sin are of the devil, the Bible says. Oh, is it clear? If your conscience was clear, you would, you would know the one who clears the conscience. The Bible says only one can clear the conscience by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, the Bible says that knowing the blood of the Lamb slain before the foundation of the world. Oh, whoever has the testimony in him is the Spirit. There you go. Okay, we'll use it up. Oh, evil pursues sinners. But with the righteous there is favor, the Bible says. Evil pursues sinners. The Bible says that evil shall slay the wicked and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. But the Lord redeems the souls of his saints. None of them who trust in him shall be condemned. If you trust in Jesus, you won't be condemned. If you have a question, talk to him. I'm called the preacher. No, these kids need to hear. Talk to him. He'll answer your question. He'll answer you. I got to preach. I'm called to preach. For them. Okay, okay. Ask, ask your question. We'll stop the preaching for a second. Go ahead. You are a horrible fucking Why can't we have a conversation? Like, okay. we this man asked, why can't we have a conversation? We're here to have conversations. No, no, the Bible you're says that the... I, I am, okay, okay. No, seriously, just, just turn it off. Look, the whole... The whole... The whole... I'm trying to answer you. Look, look. Look, we're here to have conversations, but there is one person who's preaching. The Bible says that we're called to preach. The God... I'm answering your question. I want everybody to hear. Because the Bible says the preaching of, of the cross is the power of God to those who are being saved. Jesus said to preach the gospel to every preacher. If you want to have a conversation, come to him and talk to you. But don't try to stop the preaching. Don't be the enemy of the preaching. Do you know what God's going to do to his enemies? You know what the Bible says he's going to do to those who try to stop the preaching? The Bible says he's going to heap on them coals of fire. And a burning wind will be the portion of their cup. Yes, yes. Yes. The Bible says it's a righteous thing. It's a righteous thing for God to repay those with tribulation who trouble you. For this is manifest evidence of the righteous judgment of God. Oh, oh, the Bible says you must be a new creation in Christ. I, I was a terrible sinner, but God saved me. He was patient with me, and I'm trying to tell you, He's been patient with you long enough, and He's saying, Oh, judgment has come. The Bible says, Thus we judge. If one died for all, then all died, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for God who died for them. God died for you. Why won't you live for Him? Why are you living for yourself? It doesn't matter. The Lord of Prophet, what is the... What is that in the, in the end? The Bible says your 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 righteousness is filthy rags. The Bible says. Oh, if, if you sin in one area, you're guilty of the whole law. If you lie, you're a liar in God's sight, and you'll end up in the lake of fire. The Bible says the mouth of the fool is his destruction. But his lips are the snare of it. How am I a hypocrite? How am I a hypocrite? I don't walk around in lies. I tell you the truth, and you don't believe. Oh, hold on. No one else is able to speak their opinion because you have the megaphone and you're screaming. I'm called to preach. If you have a question, these people are here to answer your question. And I'm called to preach to herald the gospel. Jesus said, whatever I tell you in the ear, proclaim it. I'm proclaiming. I'm being obedient to what Jesus said to do. So that all these people can have a chance to be saved. Wisdom cries outside the scripture says. She raises her voice in the hey, open squares. Hey, I have a if I, if I, I have serve a my country, am I a heathen? Hold on, wait. Hey, I have a question for you. Uh, God created us in his spinning image. If God created gays, does that mean he's a faggot too? Yeah, the Bible says that God created all in his image, but men have sought out many schemes. God sets before you life and death. Therefore, choose life. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24 says. It says, don't preach. You're, you're following. That's the God of the devil says that. The Bible says, the God of this world has blinded the eyes of the unbeliever. The, huh? No, it's not. The Bible says the preaching of the, the message of the cross. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to those who are being saved, it is the power of God unto salvation. It's foolishness to you. That's a bad sign. That means you're perishing today and you've been warned. Colossians chapter 1 verse 28 says, Him we preach, warning every man, teaching in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ. I know that, the, I know that by the terror of the Lord we persuade men. 
Oh, the Bible says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. Hebrews 10, 31. Why won't you see that God is a consuming fire? The Bible says in Hebrews 12, 29, our God is a consuming fire. He's consumed me. He, he took this old, crooked heart that I had and he made it straight. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 13, who can make straight what God has made crooked? No one has power over the Spirit to retain the Spirit. No one has power in the day of death. Oh, there is no release from that war, and wickedness does hey. not deliver those who are given to it. What's your question? If I'm serving my country, am I a heathen? If I don't believe in God, and I'm serving my country, am I a heathen? Let me tell you what the scripture says. Why do the nations rage? The Psalms 2. Psalms 2, I believe the word of God. I support the word of God. I believe that the word of Jesus. Jesus said, Jesus said this. Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will never pass away. He said, okay, okay, let me, can I answer this guy's question? He has an intelligent conversation. Let's see what Jesus said about the nations. Jesus said, why do the nations rage? Why do the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us cast off their cords from us. Let us break their bonds from us. But he who sits in the heavens and says shall laugh. He will hold them in derision. He will distress them in his deep displeasure. Oh, the Bible says, kiss the son lest he become angry, and you perish in the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Oh, do you not see, the Bible says, be instructed, O kings. Oh, be, be wise, O kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Oh, the time is coming. Time is short. Oh, the Bible says you are in need of endurance, that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. In Hebrews chapter 6, the Bible says, When God could swear by no one, he swore by himself, saying, Surely, blessing, I will bless you, and multiply, and I will multiply you. Oh, but there's no blessing. There's no blessing in sin. The wicked are like the troubled sea when it's tossed to and fro. The Bible says it casts up its dirt like mire. Oh, the Bible says these will receive blackness of darkness forever. It's whom it's reserved for them. Oh, it says, it says they are wells without water, clouds carried by a tempest. Do you not know? Do you not know that God is able to reserve the unjust under punishment for the day of destruction? Well, the Bible says he knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations, not the ungodly. you got to have a heart transplant. The Bible says you need a new heart. You need a new spirit. You need to become born again. You need to humble yourself low before the mighty hand of God so that he may exalt you in due season. Oh, the Bible says, by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. But in the house of mirth and laughter is foolishness and destruction. You're out here partying. You're out here laughing it up. And there's destruction in your midst. Oh, the Bible says the way of the adulterous woman is she wipes her mouth and says, I have done no evil. Oh, the Bible says, I have found more bitter than death than her whose heart is snares and nets. Oh, he who pleases God shall escape her, but the sinner is entrapped by her. Ecclesiastes 7, 26. The sinner is entrapped by you wicked men. I have escaped you by the grace and the power of his mercy and his truth. Jesus said the truth will make you free. Why do you love shame? Why do you love guilt? Why, oh, you who are tossed with tempest, God wants to adorn your house with gold and with precious stones. Oh, because it's like the waters of Noah to him. His kindness is forever. Oh, his anger is but for a moment. But his, his life, his favor is forever. You need to come under the mighty hand of his anger. You need to understand he's angry with you. You need to be terrified of who God is. I respect it. I appreciate it. Yeah, but I came, I repent, I gave my life to Christ. I'm living for him. I'm not justifying my life. Yeah, it's terrifying. Terrifying. Fools make a mock of sin. For these people make a good showing in the flesh. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 18. Not he who commends himself is approved, but whom the Lord commends. The Bible says, Jesus, in, in Matthew chapter 6, he said, when you pray, go to your secret place where God who sees in secret, and he will reward you openly. When people come out and they make a display of sin in the flesh, oh, that's death in the flesh, destruction. Oh, do you not see that God wants to save you? Oh, oh, Jesus Christ is the Savior. What is what is happening then? Everything happens for you. You choose to sin. You choose to sin. All of sin and fall short of the glory of God, but I dealt with my sin. What are you doing with your sin? You're in your sins. Jesus said, if you, if you look at the way you're dressed, you know what Jesus said? 
Let me give it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me explain this to you. Let me explain this to you. Let me explain this to you, okay? Why don't you listen to the word of God? The Bible, Jesus said, whoever causes somebody to sin, whoever, whoever, whoever causes someone to have a stumbling block to these little ones, it'd be better for them to have a millstone hung around their neck and them to be cast into the bottom of the sea. Ma uh, um, Matthew chapter 6, verse 22 says, the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eye be evil, your whole body is full of darkness. But if your eye is single, your whole body is full of light. Your eyes are evil out here. Oh, you're focused in on what is sinful. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4, 18, do not look on the things that are seen, that are temporary. Look on the things that are unseen, that are eternal. Uh, uh, if you want to give it to me, yeah, thank you. Oh, the Bible says. Hey, sir. Why does God not like people that like sports? If that's well, it's like any idolatry. What do you mean? Why? Is, is, is it not playing that people can make idolatry out of sports? I used to be a sports idolater. I, I, I went to a college and I used to idolize the college I went to. But you know what? God showed me the danger in that. The Bible says that, that these people have a heart in covetous practices, which is idolatry. Because you covet the catch of evil men, it says. It says, envy now, thou sinners. It says, be in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is a hereafter and your hope will not be cut off. Proverbs 23, 17. You need to walk in the fear of the Lord. Then your hope will be cut off. But the Bible says in Hosea 4, 6, if you reject me, he says, I will reject you and your children. Some of you don't even have children yet, but you know what? If you walk in sin, the Bible says you, you, your whole generation will be accursed. You're going to fall flat. Some of you are the product of, of the cursedness of your own parents and the families. God wants to break the curse at your generation. He wants to show you. He wants to show you his marvelous kindness in a strong city, the psalmist said. He showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. I said in my haste, I am cut off from before the Lord, but nevertheless he heard my voice of supplication when I cried unto him. He heard the voice of my cries when I cried to him when I had heart failure four years ago. Yes, I had heart failure. I couldn't swallow. I couldn't breathe because I laughed at a guy in the pool hall and I choked one day and I ruined the muscles to control my swallowing. Oh, why don't you, if you don't want the word of God, let someone else have a chance. Why don't you let somebody else have a chance? Oh, everybody out here wants to hear it. Everybody needs to hear it. Oh, okay. Great. Great. Well, then you know what? Then I'll just, then I just have to warn every one of you guys. I'll just have to warn you. I'll just have to tell you. I care you. Don't die in your sin. I, I care for you. I warn you. Turn. Believe. Trust. What are you trusting in? You trusting in your money? The Bible says in Psalms 49, those who, those who trust in their wealth and boast in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him, for the redemption of their souls is costly. And it shall cease forever that he should continue to live eternally and not see the pit. For he sees wise men die, likewise the fool and the senseless per person perish. Their inward thought is that their house will endure forever. Oh! Their inward thought is that their houses will endure forever. They call their lands after their own names. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't like me? Or, or maybe, maybe God doesn't like every worker of iniquity. Maybe that's more accurate. Isn't that true? That God would hate people who sin and live in iniquity? That's sin. What's iniquity? Iniquity is sin. Okay. I turn from my sin. I trust in Christ, and now I'm a new creation. Can I give you? Can I give? Can I give? Can I give you a Bible verse? Can I give you one verse? No, you just say She wants to hear this. It's a good Bible verse. You'll be blessed by it. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter seven, verse twenty-five, that He is also able to save us to the uttermost who come to God through Him. Can you think about the ways that you be doing it? Maybe if you just this girl, this girl wants to hear this verse, and you're trying to stop it. Why don't you let her hear the verse? Can we finish this verse? Can I finish it? Okay. This is an important verse. This is what God did for me, okay? The Bible says that Jesus Christ is also able to save those to the uttermost who come to God through him because he always lives to make intercession for us. Jesus is the mediator between God and man. He comes on our behalf and he says, look, I took their penalty. I took their punishment and I tell them to go and sin no more. And I give them the Holy Spirit so that they can be empowered to do it. God gave me his spirit. I was entrapped in sin. I was in bondage to sin. God broke the curse of my sin. Oh, and he tells me to command you guys that you need to repent. Huh? Why, why, why do you have cursings coming out of you? Look what's in your heart. 
Okay, that's terrible. It is terrible. Why? Why then? Well, the Bible says that. In, okay, I'm going to give you a verse again. Okay. I never okay. said okay. that. Okay, hold on, hold on. The Bible says all of sin. If you tell one lie, you're guilty, okay? But let me just that, answer your question, okay? Okay, 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 hold on. Hold on. Romans chapter 8 says that, that God turned all over to vanity that it might be of hope. God, you know, God is able to redeem these curses that, that people who are innocent. Look at babies. Look at people who are innocent and bad things happen. God is able. Isn't he not able to redeem it? Is he not able to reconcile you because of Jesus? Is he not able to forgive you for your sins? Can he not help you to erase the evil heart and all the things that we do? There's bitterness. I know. The Bible says if you do not forgive your neighbor, you will not be forgiven. Why not? Don't you need forgiveness? Jesus said he who has been forgiven much loves much. You need to be you need to be forgiven. Turn to Jesus.